Well, I thought I'd add one more little uh, clip to the video I made this morning. Uh, this is Barry Bear's Rod Shop. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, the uh, this morning I had shown where we had to cut off, and uh, give me just a minute here. I had to cut off the uh, where the rollover protection was, so I cut it in two separate halves two pieces, carefully, and before I even cut it off, I noticed the rubber. Uh, it had some damage around the lip, and it's very hard, very brittle, and thanks to the good Canadians that build the Spectrum Premium uh, sending units, and here's the new one here, they use the same rubber in all three locations. Now, who would have thought? I've managed to save the one, this being bad, same part number, the uh, 88099, and used it in where the rollover protection goes. I'm going to save this other one. It's in pristine shape. I will cut this thing apart, throw everything away, but I will save that rubber uh, out of there for future use because you never know when one of your buddies gonna run the same thing and then uh, they'll, I call down there to uh, Ace Hardware to one in Azel and one in uh, Boyd no such luck uh, they didn't have anything with that uh, locking lip that thin so before you chunk your old filter save everything you can out of it in the trash I will actually save this plastic because it's uh, I have a, a plastic welder turn this down a little bit and this kind of plastic right here is in good quality to make repairs on John Deere uh, tractors uh, hoods that are all busted to pieces and uh, other plastic deals and yes I'm a hoarder it'll sit somewhere in that shelf and the kids go to cremate me they say what what he save that for in the dumpster it goes but anyhow we're gonna save it so uh, I just wanted to add that little note uh, that uh, now we have have the uh, rollover protection all nice in. Put some grease in first, and then you push the grommet in and uh, put you some. I use dielectric grease. Uh, there's no slip slide and messing around, and it's a good waterproofer. And push that in. Not real easy, but uh, at least it's not broke. So. This afternoon, the uh, weather's kind of letting up. Like I said earlier this morning, no rain in the forecast as far as we know. Heavy tomorrow. Maybe a little light a.m. Uh, before sunup. And get this uh, fuel tank in there. So we got a standby vehicle. And uh, get that thing licensed and inspected in the driver. And then the old Cadillac off to my buddy. I'm not going to mess with that thing. Uh, anything of those moderns... Uh, with a computer and that trouble code, I will probably miss it all over the place. Uh, so far, the light didn't come back on. A simple O-ring on bank two on the intake when we had to put in the coil pack and remove the uh, plenum, it had a little small blister in it and it broke and I didn't see it when it went in. So far, there's one vacuum leak gone we don't know where the rest, but I'll have to, as soon as that check engine light does come on, I'll get immediately over to Conrad's Garage here in uh, Briar, Texas. Briar Azel, he's right on the border. And uh, let him, diag you know, finish diagnosing. May have to pull the intake, may have to pull ahead, but uh, we'll worry about that when it comes. Thumbs up again. Please share and hope this helps anyone with... Uh, when you Google uh, Dodge D 250, 150 in the uh, early uh, first gen uh, with these kind of fuel systems, I know a little bit before, prior to that, they had the roller protection off the fuel sending unit setting on top of the tank. Works the same, but uh, later they would just uh, omitted that one step and put it right on in the sending unit. Good idea. All right, again, please share, comment. Uh, all you guys out there uh, that had family with COVID again, we'll, we're feeling for you. And uh, we hope this uh, will be all settled and done before 
New Year's and we can uh, seriously get back uh, on the right track in this economy with Mr. T will boom. And property uh, real estate around here is going like crazy. I don't know where they're getting the money. I guess it's the 2.65, 2.73 interest rate, but you cannot uh, imagine you put your house on one day and it's sold the next. Now, this old place can't go anywhere. We thought about moving. We'll just fight the taxes and and uh, say right here, it's uh, always cost you too much time and money and you're never happy when you move anyhow, so might well stay right here. Come back and see us. God bless.